Okay, right. So what I've done is I have just wired this into the output of the boost converter. I also wanted to ensure that we had, so we can see the voltage that's outputting from the boost converter, uh, rather than having to turn it up on here for blast to see what the voltage would be. We got, we got that as an output, the same as what we had when the uh, step down converter was in line. So, we should now just be able to switch this on and the switch. I put the two amp fuse in here. Oh, you saw that. I showed you that. And so we can see that we've got 20 volts coming out of the boost converter. We've got 12.7 on the battery, 20 volts from the boost converter, uh, 1.38 on there. Now there's a bit of a, where's that bit of a, before I start turning that up, oh, I suppose it doesn't really matter like that because, uh, because the overhead lights over and it's not that dazzling. So at the back, we got, I think we're getting to the limit, are we? No, 10 milliamp, I think. This, yeah, 10 milliamp. There we go. So we haven't got up a little tiny more. I'm probably going to get to the. That's it. I can't go any higher on the. Because that's just not turning. I'm just doing that. So what we got? We got 80 milliamp at the back, 30 milliamp at the boost converter, and 10 milliamp here. But the beauty about this one, it's silent. And there's none of that uh, washing machine fan going. <laughs> Not that washing machines got fans in them, but uh, you know what I mean. Fan in the power supply. That's so noisy bugger, isn't it? Compared to this, uh, uh, we can uh, we can just see. We can turn up the current a little bit, and there we go. Around 17 and a half volts, 44 milliamp. Of course, all I'm going to do now to turn that up uh, to have more is to turn up the boost converter. Where basically, this by itself, you only get about like eight and a half volts out of it going directly to the battery. Uh, right, where's where's my little image? Sorry about the camera, swapping hands. Okay, stick that on there. We can get a little bit of a turn up. I should probably turn this, uh, oh no, just current limit this uh, to 40 milliamp. Wow, that's a big jump, 28 to 42. Could have hit it, no, that's, that's, not, that's not as, it's not as gentle as I like. I think that maybe because that, the voltage is up. But that's not as gentle as I'd like on the current. Now, I don't know if that's an issue. I'm going to do it pretty gentle there, to, but look at that skip from 29 to 41. It's, oh, that's a, that's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing. Well, let's turn that volume down a little bit. By volume, I mean uh, voltage. Let's see if we can just get a grip of that using the voltage. Okay, so 29. I want to see 30 milliamp. That's what I want to see. Somewhere in between. I can't look, it's just staying on. Okay, 30, 31. Okay, so we do have control like that. So if I turn that down now, pretty much all the way off. And if I turn this up uh, to, let's say, 30 volts input. I'm going to put it on 35 actually, I think. No, I'm going to go to 35. I'll do 30. 30. Okay, 30 volts input. Which one? I can hear some humming. I think that's probably coming from this. Probably from this uh, display. No, I mean, it's like just a little bit. Listen. probably do a heat test 
And the reason why that's not really doing a great deal, I suppose, is because I've got the uh, I've got the current set all the way to off. So let's just turn that back up a little bit and turn the current up a little bit. Now that will be current full blast. So I could just turn that up. Turn that up. Uh, at least we're getting that range now, not just jumping straight into the 40, because that was a little bit worrying. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the limit is I can push that LED to, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be above 100 milliamps. So at the back there, look, we've got 30 milliamp, and on a 30, 30 volt output. That's uh, that's as much as what we're getting. But that's because this is restricted, not because it, you know, can't draw more load. Only too many up at the back. Okay, well, let's just pop this off here. Just a little feel of the resistors. Nothing, just nothing. Nothing, nothing. And of course, I wouldn't really expect too much of anything, but it's a little high pitched noise. Yeah, a little high pitched noise. Not quite sure what that's all about. Oh. There you go, so I do have a variable power that I so desire. Um, and I could probably turn that up. A little bit louder, just because I know I can turn this boost booster up to 35 volts. So I'm pre, I think it's 35 volts. I think the caps are 35 volts, so that's going to be its limit. As you can see, that's going up there. So let's just say I just wanted 30 volts on there. Not that I'd keep this like this, because if I'm going to do low voltage things, if I'm doing some like you know five volts, I'm going to have this thing on like eight volts or something, the minimum, for me to do the work here and have it. The, the control there. There we go. Run for my battery, well chuffed. And uh, yeah, I think something's getting warm. It's probably this. It's quite bright. So. Cheers for watching, guys. <laughs>